Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. This video I'm going to be setting up uh, my challenge tracker for May. Um, so I, since I do so many spreads a week and social media, um, uh, my YouTube channel planning, that's kind of my full-time job now that I'm retired. So I, I like to have all of the different challenges I know of um, together on one page. This is for those of you that are new. My regulars are fully aware of that. I decided to use pink pages. Here, here's, I'm a little all over the place. Yes, I just finished my coffee and I'm a little wound up. So here is April's challenge checker. I've been using these Happy Notes pages for a while now, but um, honestly, I really just wanted to change it up a lot this month. So I have a year's worth of little monthly calendars from the Fat Cat Designs, and I let the colors um, and seasonality of these dictate kind of what my pages are gonna look like. So you can see this one for June is probably gonna mean I'm gonna use some green. Um, but here for May, it's pink, which is great because for me, the main seasonality for May is the second half of the quote, April showers bring May flowers. So we're on May flowers. Uh, so we're going to use, I decided to use these kind of soft peachy pink pages to just really, really, really change it up. And then the other driving thing for this is... Um, a couple of, I will link this in the description box and in my um, Instagram post, but there is a challenge out there for actually creating these challenge tracker pages. And the theme for this month is washi tape. So I am going to use, I'm going to attempt to use all three of the washi tapes from the Planners Anonymous um, sub box that I just got. It's the Plum Blossom sub box. And I have used it, but I haven't really used the washi tapes. So we're going to use these this month. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I need to do is divide this. There are four weeks within the uh, month of May in a Happy Planner planner. So we're going to divide this into four columns. Um, two for each half of the month. And actually this site's going to get divided even further. It's going to get divided into um, three columns because I need to put my my calendar up here. And I'm kind of toying with the idea of covering this up um, since it says just some thoughts in both places. I guess I could, could I, I could turn it upside down actually. I could turn the page upside down. And that would make it a little bit easier. I mean, it, it actually, it reads just fine whether it's this way or this way. And I kind of like the balance of them being opposite. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It means these lines are a tiny bit misaligned, but I can deal with that, no problem. So, all right. So knowing all of that, also I did pull a couple of quotes I wanted to use, or I did some looking around for a couple quotes. So. Uh, I kind of like a couple of the more sassy ones here. Planner's going to plan. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy stickers, and that's kind of the same thing. I'm kind of liking these sassy ones this month um, in one of these pink colors. And this one totally, like, the cats have not been letting me get sleep lately. I don't know. We had some... Um, strangers in our house doing some work and that has stressed them out to the point where they are making us pay for it. So, <laughs> so I'm just so tired. So I'm thinking I want to use a couple of these. The reason I kind of jumped to that is because that's going to help me decide how wide this first column needs to be, um, where this quote's going to go. So about to here and that quote, that I want my stickers to be able to fit should I decide to use them both. Yeah. How wide does that need to be? About there. Okay. So first things first, let's grab a straight edge and divide this into the three columns. Um, I also have just pulled a mild liner. That's what I like to use for this portion. So Let's see, let's go ahead and just go all the way top to bottom. All right, and then the room that remains will divide in half. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, over on the uh, right hand page. And then next, I want to go ahead and put the date range. Well, let's go ahead, now that I know I can center, We'll go ahead and put this sticker at the top. 
So this is just for reference so I don't have to flip around. I have the full calendar right there if I need it. And I like it at the top. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to use these overlay tapes from Narrative Hues and put my date ranges in. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these. Normally these are, since these are overlay tapes, you're supposed to put them over the writing, but this month what I'm going to do, since I chose some really, really nice dark ones, I'm going to put them down first and then grab um, a jelly roll and write the date range on top in white. That is going to really change it up from what I normally do, which is what I'm looking for this month. Make sure when you use a jelly roll like this, you um, let the ink dry for a nice long time. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and write in all of my challenges, uh, starting of course with the Happy Planning Tips and Tricks Challenge. That's the challenge that I run. It's the, um, the, the big Happy Planning Tips and Tricks group on Facebook, and I run the challenge. So I did hold off on filming this video until after I had um, worked with the team to get that challenge finalized, so I can go ahead and write those in. So I'm just going to speed... I've already sped this up while I go ahead and write all those in. And I, I don't think I mentioned this uh, was a Papermate flare. Uh, I just like the thickness of that type of pen. So there was a lot of hesitation and grabbing my phone because um, every month I'm trying to make sure that the challenges I'm putting on here are, are active or at least have recently been active. And as they become less and less active and I feel like they're getting ready to drop off of, of the face of the map, I kind of gravitate them down toward the bottom of the page. So I also like to include space here at the bottom for some uh, miscellaneous specific to me things that I want to do. Like if I'm a member of a collab, I want to make sure a collaboration, I want to make sure to put that on the right week. If I have a personal holiday or maybe I get a new Planners Anonymous kit that I want to use right away, um, I include that. So. Uh, we'll put that at this bottom, but I wanted to include the washi tape since the theme for this is washi tape. We're going to use, other than the quotes and my calendar sticker, I wanted to use washi tape for all the deco on this spot spread. So I'm using the whitest washi tape from the Planners Anonymous Plum Blossom kit. And since that there... Um, I just left the messy rip on the end for that. I feel like this washi tape already is kind of the color that is underneath on the page. So it's a good one to use on this colored page. I do have a link in the description box for a discount on your first month's subscription from Planners Anonymous. Um, after your first two months, you can skip if for whatever reason, if you don't like the kit or if your paycheck is hitting just wrong or whatever it is, you can skip. Um, so feel free to use that code. I also will uh, try to remember to link um, in the cards up above the unboxing for this video. Let's go ahead and punch this bottom spot before I forget and try to put it in my planner. That washi tape just goes so well. All right, I'm going to give myself a couple of miscellaneous spots down here at the bottom then. And then what I write inside these boxes is just um, when I decide I'm going to go with a particular idea for a spread, I write in the planner that uh, that pertains to. So W for wellness, D for dashboard, so on and so forth. So that is all the challenges. Let's go ahead and see what kind of quotes and things we can fit on here. Um, oh, also the second washi tape from that kit is these uh, butterflies. So I definitely want to sprinkle these around. There's a little bit of space in between each one. So if I rip carefully, I can use them like individual stickers. 
Okay, let's, we'll, we'll come back to this. I have not, I don't think I'm finished with it yet. Um, I really want to sprinkle these butterflies all over the place. Okay, for quotes, I have those too. I feel like I'm already tired tomorrow. I think I want that one at the top. Or, you know what? We could put it down here. Since this this one technically is three columns and this one's two columns and they're wider and I have a gap here because of, of this comment that's on the page, let's put this here. So I'm taking advantage of this gap. I do have space to add another challenge, um, which brings me to something I forgot to mention. I am always looking for new challenges to add. So if there is a challenge you know of that I don't have written on here. Please feel free to drop me a comment. I would love to add it to my list. I am always, as many spreads as I do a week, I am always looking for ideas and inspiration to help me decide what to do. And then let's put this one over here. Definitely got our color scheme going. Uh, I think that's enough. I mean, I could put something there, but I already have those words. So the other thing that I can do then is go ahead and use this last washi tape, which kind of has quotes on it. Again, separated by little spaces. Spread your wings and fly. That's a great one considering I'm putting so many butterflies on here. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of these on. Again, um, since the theme is washi tape, I really want to use all washi tape as my decorative element aside from the stickers. This one says, I got my glasses, this one is, they're so small. Let's see, take care of yourself, you're worth it. Since this one's a little longer, I could put it, I think it'll fit, actually, horizontally. Yes. And then let's put a couple more butterflies on there. Especially since I've got the spread your wings and fly quote on there. Find your own secret garden. That's cute. Just because I have a couple of those over here, I think I want one over here. Okay. I think that's it. That is so pretty. I'm glad I used the colored pages. So let me show you how I'm going to put it in my planner. I do need to Franken plan it in. So we'll grab some tape runner. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to Franken plan it in yet, and here's why. I don't have the pages on either side of that done yet. So what what would normally happen is I would go from my May calendar to these two pages. Let's just stick them in there. And then from there I would go to my first spread. Now on the off chance that I decide to go ahead and replace this page with scrapbook paper, then I don't need this page and I can tape runner it right to this page. And until I get something catastrophic could happen and I might need to replace this side of the calendar, um, in which case I don't want it already taped to this page. I want to wait until I get that spread already done. So for now I'm just putting them in where they're going to go and as I get the pages on either side done then I'll tape runner them together in those videos. So there we go. There is my washi tape theme uh, spread challenge tracker for May. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you not necessarily to make challenge tracker pages, but to do go ahead and make custom pages um, for whatever uh, you need more detail on in your life. Uh, they really should, um, you should really make your planner work for you. And um, this is just an example of one way you can make custom pages uh, to make that happen. So if you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, dropping me a smiley face or a kind word. All those interactions with my videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great way to support me. Thank you.